guys it's jessie and welcome back to my channel so sorry for the awkward angle but basically in today's video i'm going to be showing you all the books on my physical tbr so um these are all the books on these shelves these are all the books that i haven't read yet sorry if the angle is a bit awkward but i did just want to get the whole thing in and then i can pull them out and show you guys but yeah basically i have a lot of books like physically here that i haven't read yet so this is part of the reason why i'm on a book buying ban and also for some reason i can't stop myself reading books on my phone instead even though i have these here um on the top shelf up here um you can't see it because i'm not really talking about it today um but that is books kind of my very favorite like five star reads up there and my colleen hoovers i've got two on there that i haven't read yet so i'll just move them down here for now um and yeah so if you want me to do a full-on bookshelf tour including everything on here um then i can do that as well but for the moment we're just gonna be talking about my unread books which are these ones here so first things first i'm going to go through the ones i am technically currently reading and that is these four here so the first one we have and this is from this gap here um normally there's no gaps in my shelves but um i literally pulled this one out today i'm in a bit of a reading slump and i wanted a romance so i'm literally i mean just started this one which is the summit equation by christina lauren i love christina lauren their books are so good um i love the unhoneymooners and i think i've got another one somewhere that i want to read I can't remember. I've just heard really good things. There's a lot on my TBR. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be doing kind of like blurbs and descriptions about books because I feel like most of these are quite popular TikTok books. So it's kind of unnecessary. Um, but first we've got The Summit Equation. Then we've got um, As Good As Dead, which is the third book in the Good Girls Guide to Murder trilogy. This um, has been one of my favourite trilogies. Again, only not too far into this one and it is a pretty thick one. Um, I'm really excited about reading this one. Again, just in a bit of a slump at the moment. Then we have They Both at the end again halfway through this one um still currently reading this definitely want to kind of get through it um because i'm really liking it so far but again in the slump then we have my policeman i'm going to try and take this on holiday again i took it to thailand but didn't really have any time to read um so i only literally got up to about here so um barely even started this one but i want to read it before it's made into a movie because obviously i love harry styles um and then we just have two colin hoovers that are on the top shelf these are the only two physical books of hers that i haven't read First we've got Maybe Someday here. I know she's redoing the covers, but I much prefer this one. Then we've got Slammed. I really like the cover for this. These are two of her earlier books, so um, I definitely will get around to these soon. Um, she's my favourite author, so definitely will get to those um, very imminently. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with this shelf up here, now that we're kind of fully going through it. Um, I don't really have any specific order of these books. Um, I just say the ones on the bottom shelf are the ones I'm kind of more eager to read, once I've really heard recommended more. These ones are all second hand besides these two i believe um, and i picked them all up either from like being passed on to me from family or friends or anything or from charity shops so the first two that i do have are ones i bought from waterstones um i haven't seen these recommended but they sounded like good romance books um so we've got not here to be liked by michelle quatch I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that, um, which is just a little rom-com one. And then You and Me at the End of the World, which I also thought was a cute kind of rom-com cover. It says perfect for fans of Adam Silvera, who wrote They Both Die at the End. And I'm really enjoying that so far. Um, I also really love the colours of this. These are like my favourite colours. Um, but yeah, these two are on there. Then we have Where the Crawdads Sing. I got this for £1 in a charity shop, so it is second-hand, but I've heard lots of good things like this. A, lot, a couple controversial things. Um, but i do want to read this one then we have found which is a bit of a kind of like mystery thriller book um then we have the versions of us i've heard good things like this i'm actually not sure what it's about but i got this one for 50p in a charity shop got all the bright places um this one was like on a five for one pound i think um i've seen the movie i really like the movie i watched it like on a plane um, but it was good frangle test i haven't heard anything about this one i think it's meant to be a bit like or not meant to be but it sounds a bit like the movie friend request and it's kind of like a girl that's dead that's like requesting to be her friend or something um so i think that's a bit of like a mystery one then we've got the dare um again not sure uh haven't heard anything about this one um i think again it's another kind of psychological mystery one then we've got the switch by beth o'leary i read the flat share by her and i thought it was really cute and this seems like another kind of quite easy romance so i'm excited to read that one then we've got nine perfect strangers which i've heard a lot about this is kind of meant to be a kind of 
um, mystery kind of like unraveling the truth kind of thing. Um, and then we have Eleanor Oilerfant is completely fine. I've heard really good things about this. I think this one's won a lot of awards. Um, again, I think this is more kind of women's fiction um, rather than anything else, but I am still excited to read this one. Again, the ones on here I probably won't read very soon, um, but they are just kind of books that I will get to at some point. Five years from now, I actually have heard good things about. Um, I think it's like childhood friends to love her, I believe. Um, and then kind of like they meet every five years type of vibe, um, like miss chances or something. Then I got this one, um, which I've had for ages. I think it's teen YA, like thriller. Um, basically every two years on her birthday, she's murdered and then she wakes up just outside her hometown. Um, I've had this forever. I think I got a decent way through it, um, but I will actually pick this up again because it sounds quite interesting. Um, but yeah, I've had this for ages, back from when I used to be into reading, like when I was like 12. Then we have Skin Deep. This is just a kind of romance and I saw this for one pound and more stones, so I just picked it up. Then we've got One Day in December, found this in a charity shop and I think I'm gonna save this for Christmas, but um, I've heard good things about that. Then we've got Anxious People. I think both my parents read this one and they recommended it. I think this is just kind of like regular fiction rather than like romance or anything. Then I've got Carry On by Robo Rao. This used to be one of my favorites and I did want to read it again. It's very very teeny so I think I did give it a go and I think I need to try it again because it was a very teeny um, and then we've got the nightingale which I don't even know what this is about but this was given to me by my mum because she read it then just up here I've got some hardbacks and kind of bigger books I've got Note to Self by Connor Franta, which is like poetry. I got that when I met him, like I went to the book signing. Then I've got Such a Fun Age, which I've heard a lot about. I don't like that this is a hardback, but it was like £1 in a charity shop, so I wanted to get it. And then up here, I've just got Atomic Habits as well. So then moving down to the kind of next level, I guess. Okay, so I'm just going to pull the books out from this end. We've got Men Who Hate Women. So I started reading this. I really, really liked it, but need to kind of be in the right mindset, I think, to read this one. It's quite a, um, de not depressing, but it's like not lovely things to read about, but it's very, very interesting. Then here I've got The Circle. I'm actually really, really interested in this one. This looks really, really good. It's like where The Circle runs like all your internet activity and everything and like just like a bit kind of way dystopian. It sounded really, really good. And um, so I picked that one up. Then we've got The Castaways. I'm not really sure what this was. I think basically they wake up next to the wreck of a plane or something. Um, it sounds really interesting, another kind of thriller. Then we've got Shift, where basically um, a new girl kind of came to school and one of the kind of popular girls died and the other girl is kind of like trying to take her place and rumored to kill her or something. That reminded me of A Cool Summer, I believe it was. Then we have Vicious, um, which was recommended to me by a friend. This is my friend's book. I'm gonna give it a go again. It doesn't really sound super like my thing, but I want to try it. Then again, another one of my friend's books, we've got The Court of Thorns and Roses. I've heard so many good things about this, so definitely need to give this one a go. Then we've got, here's the other Christina Lauren one I have, which is Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, but this sounds really up my street. Then we've got a couple that I got in the three for five pounds from the works that I hadn't really heard about. We've got Stuck on You and um, What If, which just sounded like kind of classic rom com romances. Then we've got The Beekeeper of Aleppo, which I've heard so many amazing things about. Um, we've got Pretending, which actually looks really good. She's like basically pretending to be someone else and going on dates and stuff. Um, so yeah, that sounded good. And I really liked Holly Warren's books. I think if I remember rightly, I've read some of hers before. Then we've got Eight Perfect Hours, which I had recommended on TikTok, but haven't, don't really know much about it. Then we've got the X Hex, which I think will be fun, but mine came kind of broken at the bottom, which is so annoying. Um, but basically, like, she curses her ex and then everything starts to go wrong. Then this end is definitely ones I really, really want to read, um, like ones I'm really excited about. We've got The Road Trip by Beth Leary, Beth O'Leary, yeah, who was, again, the same one that wrote The Switch and The Flat Share that I like. Um, then we've got Daisy Jones and The Six, just a classic Taylor Jenkins read one. Again, this is so hyped up on BookTok. Also, The Fine Print, this is probably the one out of all of these I'm second most excited for. Lauren Asher, 
I really liked the Death Year series. I'm on the third book now. Um, and yeah, really excited to read this. I've heard some really, really good things. So we've got Good Girl Complex. I've actually not heard very good things about this one. Um, but it's Elle Kennedy who wrote the Deal series, like the off-campus series. And I really want to read that, but I can't find it in the UK. So I picked this one up, which is her newer one. Um, but some people didn't like it. But I'm definitely going to give it a go. I think this might be one that I bring on holiday. It's giving kind of like beauty vibes. Then we've got The Heart Principle, which I picked up because I loved the Kiss Quotient. But I haven't read The Bride Test yet. And I know they're kind of still standalones, but I want to just read it in order so do need to read the other one first but I can't find it in any bookshop like I keep going into Waterstones on like different ones and they just don't have it. Then we have a classic the Spanish love deception some people say this is overhyped but I love like an enemies to lovers fake dating type of vibe so I think I will enjoy this one and then the last two we have the classic um, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo still haven't read this one but heard amazing things and then probably one that I'm most excited to read is uh, One Last Stop by Katie McQuinston she wrote Red, White and Raw Blue, which I'm obsessed with. This is meant to be kind of like a little bit fantasy-esque, but really, really excited about this one. Firstly, the colours are gorgeous. I love it. Um, and secondly, it just sounds really, really good right up my street. Um, but yeah, these are all the books that are currently on my physical TBR. I mean, we've got a lot. I won't lie. It's very, a very, very long physical TBR. So I definitely need to make my way through these books. I have been in a bit of a reading slump, unfortunately. So I think that's the main reason why I haven't really read much recently. Um, but hoping to really soon like get back into it. I really hope so. Um, but yeah. If you guys have any specific reading vlogs you want to see with these books, definitely let me know. I'd be really open to doing that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to give it a like down below. Hit subscribe, turn the bells around a little club, and make sure you turn on all notifications. Then you'll be notified every single time I post a new video. If you want to watch one of my other videos, there'll be two on the screen now to pick from. And a lovely type in the cards from earlier. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!